Broadening units are an exciting aspect of your flexible undergraduate course structure. They will give you the opportunity to explore your interests across a wide range of disciplines, giving you a global perspective that will broaden your mind and horizons. In this video, we'll explain what broadening units are, how to choose them, and when to study them. We recommend that you watch our other video on the undergraduate course structure to give you a full understanding of how broadening units fit into your course before you choose your units and enrol. Broadening units will prepare you for a career in a rapidly changing world. The breadth of knowledge you gain from different areas and ways of thinking will make you stand out to employers as a UWA graduate. You must include four broadening units in your undergraduate degree. Broadening units fall into two categories, Category A and Category B. Category A units have as their main focus some aspect of the globalised and culturally diverse environment. They will develop your awareness of global issues and open your mind to different cultures and perspectives. You must take at least one Category A broadening unit in your degree. You can count up to two Category A units from the area of knowledge of your degree-specific major. Majors are grouped according to the discipline area in which they are taught. This is known as the area of knowledge. Category A units also include languages other than English units, indigenous studies units, approved mathematics and statistics units, and units taken on an approved study abroad or exchange program. Student exchange or study abroad gives you the opportunity to have a truly global experience by immersing yourself in another culture whilst you study towards your UWA degree and fulfil your Category A broadening requirements. You can study overseas for one or two semesters. UWA has more than 180 partner universities in Asia, Europe and North or South America. You'll have access to internationally renowned institutions, internship opportunities and much more. Visit our website for more details on how you can include an overseas experience in your course. Category B broadening units include most units taught outside the area of knowledge of your degree-specific major. Your degree-specific major will determine what units are broadening for you. The list of broadening units on the handbook will help you find out what units fall within or outside the area of knowledge of your major. We recommend that you take most of your broadening units in your first and second year of study, as there is often more space to fit them in. It's a good idea to take one or two broadening units in your first year to ensure that you are on track to meet the broadening requirements of your course. If you have questions or need advice on broadening units or other aspects of your course, Contact your allocated course advice office, shown on Student Connect. Your course advising office can also help you check that your study plan meets your degree requirements. You can also ask us a question by sending an email via Ask UWA. Just log in with your UWA theme password. So what's next? Check out our other videos on your undergraduate course structure, how to use the handbook to create a study plan, and how to enrol on Student Connect. Use the Unistart website for your step-by-step -step guide through the enrolment and orientation process.